splitting wood today, folks. Time to put the work. Caught ya, caught ya. Easy on the camera. Watch out folks, coming at ya. I said easy on the camera. Okay, so real quick, you see we have what is uh, the markings of good seasoned cooking wood or firewood or whatever you want to use it for. That just means it's seasoned. We got these good cracks splitting down from the outside in. That's the sound of good seasoned firewood. X marks the spot on this piece. Let's see if I can split it right down the center. Tough piece of wood. Bam. It's gonna go this time. Ah! So this is about the size of the split that I'm looking for. That's gonna fit perfectly for my smoker. Uh, anything bigger than that is gonna be smoldering fire. Anything smaller, I'm just gonna be feeding all day. So that's about what we're looking for. About a 13, 14 inch piece. Splitting wood takes a lot out of you folks. Burns a lot of energy, a lot of calories. Uh, some people like to use Red Bull energy drinks, uh, that sorts to recharge. For me, good old twisted tea. That's how I recharge. Oh yeah. Lunch is served. You just saw the world through a piece of wood, folks. So we'll get this cleaned up. We'll head on over to the wood rack. We'll start stacking. Okay, so we're here at the wood rack. Um, ideally, you would want to split within a close proximity of your stack. Uh, our situation requires us to split and transport it about 200 feet to our stack here. So, which I'm within the arm's reach of my smoker, which is ideal for what I'm looking for. So. Now, all we need to do is get it on the rack. Okay, so we got everything stacked up. Um, it's pretty much ready to go. Obviously, we got a lot of space to fill, but the whole point of this is we're upgrading to this nice wood rack from this homemade piece of crap that we have here. Uh, it served its purpose while we had it, but obviously this looks better and we get more volume of wood on there. So, thanks for joining us folks. See you next time.